I just wanted to start out this video by saying if you just turned 18 or you're or you haven't turned 18 yet but you're looking to grow your credit you come to the right place I'm gonna be showing you guys two ways to grow your credit this video is mainly for people that are just starting out in the credit game and are looking to and are looking to see where to start off I'm mainly giving foundational advice here so do keep that in mind but these are tips that I have given my, my personal friends and my personal family just starting out so yeah some things about me is I actually grow my business and my personal credit together to roughly a hundred thousand dollars in credit so some cards I have are like capital on tap I do have my own credit card stack for my personal and business credit so before I turned 18 I was an authorized user under my parents credit and if you don't know what that is it's essentially you being added on to their credit profile and what this helped me do is boost my credit so that's something I definitely recommend you do if, if you haven't turned 18 yet or if you know somebody that hasn't turned 18 and you know their parents have good credit put the individual onto their credit profile of their whether that's their mother or father whoever has the best credit as they'll be able to get approved for higher limits starting off I apologize for jumping in the video so quick but that's something that was on my mind if you're somebody starting off with no credit here are some things that you can do so for starters something i would recommend is something like self it is essentially like a secured loan and what you're doing is essentially paying it forward in a sense meaning you're making a monthly payment like you would be making on a loan but it's secured via self also sorry for looking down these are just some notes that i took in on self just just so i know that i'm giving you guys the proper information so self reports your payment history to all three major credit bureaus experian equifax and transunion which overall helps you build a strong credit profile over time so here's the crazy thing after the loan has ended you get all the money back that you have actually paid for within this monthly period so what does that mean you've essentially saved while building your credit and something that I like about so it doesn't require a credit check when this makes it good for people with no credit history or with people that have poor credit so yeah that's for self so one of the more popular choices that people do know is the discover it secured credit card so what the difference with this is is you're gonna actually have to deposit for a security and and I believe the minimum is roughly around two hundred dollars and whatever you deposit is your credit limit. For example, if you deposit five hundred dollars, your credit limit will be five hundred dollars. In terms of usage, you can use it just like any other credit card, make purchases, pay bills, just like the self app. It reports to the three major credit bureaus: Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. So one of the perks while using this credit card is you can actually earn rewards while making purchases. So it's essentially like graduating, kind of like with self after a certain period of time of using the credit card you will transition into an unsecured card meaning you get your security deposit back and you will continue using the card with a higher limit and one thing to know with the with the discover it secured credit card is there is no annual fee as discover does have a lot of annual fee cards and key takeaways that i will recommend while using this card pay your balance on time and in full every month keep your credit utilization low so you can see your score improve over time so so far i give you guys two options and for one discover is actually a physical card that you'll be receiving in hand while self is a card that you're not receiving in hand so if you're a person that actually likes to spend a lot then you might want to lean over to the discover side but if you want to be more secure and kind of just wait wait out the long game and just just wait and you're more more so like payment type of person self is more orchestrated for people that are just trying to make payments slowly but surely and then you'll see your credit boost up i believe in three to six months if i'm not mistaken so i would say it's essentially like a preference thing because if you really think about it in the whole in the whole grand scheme of things if you're putting in a 200 dollars deposit at least this is how i look at it um and you use let's say 50 percent or let's say you go pump gas right i don't know how much you guys put in gas like 30 to 60 dollars let's say but your utilization on a 200 dollars card is just gonna fluctuate up automatically you already passed the 10 percent mark so it's like you want to keep it low and if you're just starting out and you want to just get your foot in the door and make monthly payments in my personal opinion, I, I believe self is the way to go. But some people like to have that attachment in hand. And you also do earn those perks when spending on the Discover card. But like I said, you have to be real responsible. And, and a lot of people, if you're just starting out, and looking back when I first had my credit card, I wasn't making very rational decisions at the time. And I'm not speaking for everybody when I say that, of course. So it's just like, you just have to kind of know your flow of things because things can take a turn and you can see your credit score drop. Some places where you can check your credit score at is something like Experian or Credit Karma. Experian is more in-depth and more detail oriented which is something I would recommend more that you actually look into. That you actually would check out is Experian over Credit Karma because Experian kind of gives you more. Because with Experian, you can check your FICO score and so forth. But Credit Karma is also good as well. I forgot to make an outro for the video, but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions that are foundational about credit, feel free to message me on Instagram at Rubio, R-U-W-B-I-O. And yeah, peace out.